Welcome to Monday Markers. Uh, this is the uh, Indigenous Peoples Month. We're going to dedicate this to, and we're going to depart somewhat from our normal uh, program of looking at local labor uh, markers. But for this particular month, with this election facing us, this critical period in our nation's history, and with so many calls to reevaluate and look at uh, American history in light of uh, where we're going, where we've been, and what we need to do to survive uh, as a people and to have grandchildren and great-grandchildren, hopefully, and that survive and have a decent life. So um, the Labor History Society, Pennsylvania Labor History Society and the Battle of Homestead have been engaged for decades telling the story of the working class, the struggles uh, for a better life and better and fairer uh, wages and better working conditions. But that and all those stories that we've tried to tell, most of them have been marginalized, uh, kept out of the mainstream uh, in terms of what our history is about, much like uh, the history of Native Americans and the history of African Americans. Uh, so our sympathy, uh, being uh, historians of the working class of all colors, uh, is uh, very much with the plight of uh, American, African Americans and American Native people. Queen Aliquippa, that's our subject for today, uh, and we're talking about the her final camp, we'll get to that, in 1753. Uh, in McKeesport, uh, in Highland Park, Highland Grove Park, uh, where the state historical marker was placed uh, about 17 years ago, a good while ago. Uh, she was the uh, Seneca clan mother, recognized as an extremely important and experienced leader at the Forks of the Ohio when the Europeans arrived here. Uh, she was not a young woman. She was already in her 50s at least, uh, and uh, she was extremely respected. She was the uh, sovereign here uh, and expected that people would recognize that. Um, she had probably, her father was quite influential and close to William Penn. She probably was at William Penn's leave-taking from Pennsylvania. She had a deep sense of history. Uh, she favored the English against the French uh, in the looming war, but she also favored Pennsylvania greatly over Virginia uh, for their attitude toward the native people. Uh, the, so at any rate, uh, a envoy of Pennsylvania, Conrad Weiser, came to the Forks of the Ohio in 1748 to secure a peace treaty and to meet with local native indigenous peoples uh, leaders. He wrote about Aliquippa. We dined in a Seneca town, this was McKee's Rocks, the Bottoms, where an old Seneca woman reigns with great authority. We dined at her house and they used us very well. Aliquippa asked Weiser to provide her a cask of powder and some small shot to enable her to send out the Indian boys to kill turkey and other fowls for her whilst the men were gone to war against the French so that her people may not starve. The following year, a major French military expedition of several hundred men, led by Celeron de Blainville, stopped at Aliquippa's village, and he, which he called Written Rock, because the high rocky ridge between her village and the Ohio was marked with pictographic symbols, some of which survived into the more recent times uh, where uh, have been written about. People have seen the remnants of those. The uh, Iroquois uh, uh, Celeron wrote about this. He said, the Iroquois inhabit this place and it is an old woman of this nation who governs it. She regards herself as sovereign. She is entirely devoted to the English. Three years later, a delegation of commissioners from Virginia stopped and were fed by Queen Aliquippa. The British and French competition for the control of the Ohio River Valley was heating up. 
an English trading post uh, and uh, further down the Ohio uh, was overrun by French allied natives led by a notorious half-breed, half-white, half-native indigenous. Uh, toward the end of 1753, the French launched a major invasion of the uh, Ohio country by moving or building three forts from Lake Erie to the headwaters or to near the top of uh, the uh, Allegheny River. And uh, the F French action caused great alarm among the English uh, settlements, particularly Virginia, but also Pennsylvania, a very young and very ambitious on envoy of the governor of Virginia, 21-year-old uh, George Washington, was sent to meet with indigenous leaders in the area of the Forks of the Ohio, especially the Iroquois, who were formally allied with England and provided the basis for her claims to the uh, Ohio and Allegheny Valley. Um, he was to proceed up the Allegheny to deliver a warning uh, to the French uh, to cease their incursion into Iroquois territory. Uh, he was accompanied by Tanakarison and the young Gaiasuta, both important Seneca leaders, who were concerned about the French turning the flank of the Seneca nation by cutting into the Allegheny and cutting off their access to their western hunting lands in the Ohio Valley region. So this, the uh, Seneca Iroquois were closely allied with the British point of view. Because of the looming conflict, Queen Aliquippa moved her village from McKee's Rocks on the Ohio to the high plateau above the Monongahela at the confluence of the Yakagani River with the, uh, the Mon in McKee's Port. So uh, when Washington returned from his uh, mission to the French and fell in the river in the Allegheny, got fished out and was freezing at the end of 1753, he went to John Fraser, the trapper, in Braddock's cabin and, and there was given shelter and was told by uh, John Fraser that uh, Queen Aliquippa, who can, was the sovereign here, <laughs> was annoyed at him for uh, bypassing her and going to Logstown and to the French without talking to her first. So he suggested that since she had moved nearby to McKeesport that he should go and visit her, which he did. Uh, and uh, he wrote famously about her that he gave her a present of a coat and a bottle of rum, the latter of which uh, she was thought the much better present of the two, which one might understand in the winter of Pennsylvania. In Queen Aliquippa, we see someone who had the power, the matrilineal, matriarchal, the the, the very important and powerful position of women in Native societies in general, and the Iroquois in particular. Uh, she had great experience having lived uh, on the East Coast and known, uh, been in the circles. Her father was influential with William Penn. Uh, so she was a true diplomat and a sophisticated uh, person who understood political power and saw the dangers coming upon her. Uh, so she represents the mother, and in George Washington, of course, we have the patriarchal father of the nation, uh, the country who was a plantation, run, run, ran a plantation, was a slave owner and a land speculator. And particularly, he was a surveyor who drew lines of separation, marking possession over far-flung lands without any, necessarily any intention of personal use. For indigenous people, the land was a source of communal survival based on occupation and use. For the land speculator, the land was a commodity with a price. Additionally, where the slave system held sway, so too were the persons who worked on that plantation also 
a commodity.